The prostate is a walnut-sized gland in men that wraps around the urethra at the base of the bladder. Cancer of the prostate is one of the most common types of cancer in men. Radical prostatectomy is a surgical procedure during which the prostate gland, surrounding tissue, and seminal vesicles are all removed. Depending on your situation, your surgeon may also choose to remove lymph nodes in the area. Before the procedure, an intravenous line will be started and you may be given antibiotics to decrease your chance of infection. A radical prostatectomy may be done under general, spinal, or epidural anesthesia. If you receive general anesthesia, you will be asleep for the duration of the procedure and a breathing tube will be inserted through your mouth and into your throat to help you breathe during the operation. If you receive spinal or epidural anesthesia, you will not need a breathing tube and will remain awake but sedated during the procedure. Radical prostatectomy may take between 90 minutes and 4 hours. Your surgeon will choose one of two approaches, retropubic or perineal. In some cases, a laparoscopic approach may be an option. In retropubic prostatectomy, your surgeon will remove the prostate through an incision in the lower part of the abdomen. In perineal prostatectomy, he or she will approach the gland through an incision in the perineum, which lies between the rectum and the scrotum. In laparoscopic prostatectomy, your surgeon will dissect the prostate from its surrounding structures using instruments placed into the abdominal cavity through small keyhole incisions. He or she will then widen one of the incisions slightly to remove the gland. Nerve sparing techniques can be utilized with any of these three approaches. Whichever approach is used, your surgeon will carefully inspect the area around the prostate before actually removing the prostate, part of the urethra, surrounding tissue, seminal vesicles, and possibly some lymph nodes in the area. He or she will then surgically reconnect the free ends of the urethra so urine can pass through. A catheter will be put into your bladder to keep it draining. Your bladder may be flushed intermittently with a sterile solution to wash out accumulated blood and clots. After the procedure, your breathing tube will be removed and you will be taken to the post-surgical recovery area for monitoring. You may continue to receive antibiotics through your intravenous line and you will be given pain medication as needed. Most patients are released from the hospital two days after the procedure. The bladder catheter usually remains in place for 10 days to 2 weeks after surgery.